Hello, my name's Art Beimler, and today we're going to be making a dollop cake. This is going to consist of several different pieces, and we're going to go over it step by step. This is a very simple cake, but it'll impress your friends and wow your enemies. Now the first part, we're going to make the head, and this is made with a head mold or a bowl. Uh, luckily enough, I have one of these, but if you don't, you can just use a standard mixing bowl with about a 9-inch opening. Next, we're going to make the body of the Dalek out of two 9-inch cake pans. Brushed aluminum works the best. Uh, this is going to provide even heat for the cake in the oven and also provide the height of our Dalek head. First, let's trim our cake. Now, as you can see, it's pretty level. So we're going to kind of go with what the oven's given us. I'm not going to do too much trimming on this one. I'm going to cut it into thirds. So roughly just mark that out. And you're just going to turn and cut. No need to go fast. Cut right through. Just go ahead and leave it there. Okay, that's one cake done. We've got our frosting here. This is basically um, a third chocolate to two thirds butter. It tastes basically like a big candy bar. Perfect for this application. So we're just going to smear a little of my chocolate buttercream on. Take our first level. I'm just going to set that right down. Now with cake, you're going to want to make sure it's completely cool before you try and split it and mask it. The warmer it is, the more fragile it's going to be, because your starches and your cake, well in your cake, have not set up properly. Then onto layer two. You notice I've just kind of flipped this cake over, and that's so I get a nice level finish on it. I just love doing this kind of work. Um, it's just so relaxing to have things spin and get all level. Okay, and then bottom becomes the top. Just like that. Which is going to be the head of our robot. A lot the same. We'll put a little frosting down. The way the mold works is it actually works out into layers too, so that's kind of nice. We're going to set that layer right there. We're going to give it a little frosting too, so there's a little bit of glue to stick the whole thing together, plus it tastes pretty darn good. We don't want to get too much. We just want to get this to stick to the other layer. And make it nice and moist. Now you can do the same thing with a bowl. You just have to cut it into layers this way. And that's that, that's the donut. All I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now. I've already got my other ones done. So after that, I'll get them in the chill chest. And refrigerate overnight. Get a nice hard coat. We'll put another coat on tomorrow before we do anything else. I'm just gonna get a nice even coating of the chocolate frosting. Wonderful.
Now this is the part of the cake that everybody's going to see. So you're going to want to make sure and get a nice even coat. Fill all the little crevices and holes before you go any farther forward. You want to make sure that's center before you start to try to smooth. And then it's just that easy. I said we're going to give this one more coat before we start to decorate. So everybody's familiar with the classic robot head. There's usually a disc that sits out in front and I'm going to show you how to make that. This is just a cupcake. So I'm just going to take, give that a quick cut, cut the round dome off. Now in order to stick it we're just going to use couple bamboo skewers. So we're going to take and cut those just like that. It's the reason why chefs don't let pastry chefs use their tools. Which is pretty good. Better than that. Okay, so we've got our head. Just want to take a look and visualize where we want that on. In particular, we're going to take Give that a quick mark. Just like that. We're going to take and stick our bamboo skewers in just like so. Then it'll hold in place just like so. Um, this is going to be a robot, so black licorice. He is going to act as the cables, and I'm just going to take and give this cake a quick measure so we get them all the right length because it's going to be stacked we want everything to fit really really well harden up at room temperature so you don't need to refrigerate in between and see you can see that and that's just going to tell me where I need to put these little guys find candy that really matches the sculpture that I'm trying to make so you're incorporating found objects. It gives the viewer something to look at, something that, oh yeah, that's licorice, or, you know, oh yeah, that's a gumdrop. It's pretty great. Yeah, as long as it's structurally sound, you can really get creative. Chocolate is a pretty forgiving media. Really be creative. It's not perfect. It tastes great. Well, as you're working with cake, you need to pick your front. I think this. Quick turn. I think this is my front. So I'm just gonna set my head on there. we have the head of our doll. So we're all done. This, I'm going to call it Dalek head on a platter. Our friend Jonathan should be very impressed. It's your birthday. You must celebrate. That's awesome. A head on a platter. <laughs>